Good morning, DIS. On today's episode, beauty standards are under the microscope. This morning, Matt Lee has a report on men wearing makeup. Then Daniel Kim brings us details on the piercing trend in Korea. I'm Christine Lee. And I'm Irene Choi, reporting to you from Daegu International School. This, this is, is The Jet, Jet Stream. Stream. All teachers, please play the new episode of the Jet Stream. Thanks for tuning into the Jet Stream. Our leading story of the morning is a special report on makeup, but with a little twist. Irene, which brand of BB cream do you use? Your face is white like crazy today. Olive Young, the best brand ever. Interesting choice. Let's see if people in this segment use the same brand. Makeup for men is a major trend in Korea. Cosmetic companies are always developing better products, thus increasing sales. According to Euromonitor, male beauty product sales increased by 50% last year. In Korea, men have whitening sun cream, all men wear makeup on their wedding day, and male K-pop idols are obsessed with it. So how do we feel about this new wave? Let's see if DIS people can make up their minds. Have you heard about guys wearing makeup in Korea? Um, I think I've heard about it and I think I've seen some cosmetics being sold for men, but I've never seen a guy that I know of wearing makeup before. Yes, I do put on makeup. Um, I use this cream to protect my skin because I do really care about my skin. Do you support the idea of males wearing makeup? Uh, it's not that I don't support it. I believe everybody has their own choice to make, and if they want to choose to wear makeup, that's fine. That's what they want to do. But I, I don't do it, and I wouldn't do it. Honestly, I don't really mind because it doesn't really affect me at all. I don't mind uh, men expressing themselves uh, through makeup or any other way possible. So I really don't mind. Um, I don't mind men putting on makeup because a lot of my friends on makeup and so it's really not a big deal if mr gum started wearing makeup would you support it yeah sure i mean makeup helps a lot of women feel better about themselves so if guys wanted to why not we were raised not to do it so times have changed i'm 54 years old so i've seen one side of it when i was young where it was considered to be negative but now it could go either way negative or positive then do you want to try in the future not really, <laughs> because, I don't know, I find it kind of odd, but not in, a, in an offensive way, just not for me. It's not for me. Surprisingly, people are either positive or neutral about male makeup, and others are not used to it since it is so new to them. It's a personal choice, so people have the freedom to do whatever they want. You don't need to conceal what you want anymore. Sounds like people are interested in beauty products just like me. Yeah, we all like to be called handsome or beautiful. And that is why I went to pierce my ears two weeks ago. It hurt a little. But Christine, beauty is pain. Daniel Kim has more. Over the past year, the amount of piercing seen among students has increased. It has become the new craze throughout the Korean society, regardless of age and gender. Different people seem to have different motivations behind how they first decided to get their piercings. Let's find out their stories. This piercing is part of my culture because in Latin culture, parents uh, put a piercing to girls. Uh, this is very normal and they, they differentiate girls from boys. I first pierced my ear over here when I was in sixth grade and then uh, the most recent piercing is my tongue piercing, which I pierced it by myself three weeks ago. Well, I was three months so when I got my ears pierced, so I don't even know any story, but all I know is I got it pierced when I was three months. So last year, uh, before graduation, me, uh, Chris and I went to Dongsong Road to try a new experience for for celebrating us becoming seniors so we decided to get a piercing and uh, we wanted fresh fresh new looks for graduation and wanted to show up as 
new character? Uh, I feel re- really confident, and I think this is my identity, and I really like it. Everyone just sees it, and they just ask, when did you pierce it? Did it hurt? So many questions, I don't even know what to answer. People have the right to express what they want to express with their piercings. Sometimes I think that they are just fashion. Some other times people use them to as part of their identity. Having a piercing, like a lot of piercing, I don't think it's bad. It's just your identity. It's how you represent yourself. It appears as if earrings have been a powerful tool to express one's individuality and explore different self-images. So the Confucian Korean society seems a little conservative toward males wearing accessories. Whether this emergent fad is a beginning phase of an everlasting DIS classic or a temporary boom, we cannot tell yet. But if you think your peers and their piercings look cool, just go join the pool. Well, thanks Daniel, Chris, and Juan. We're learning so much about beauty standards today. In other news, Student Council is planning for this year's Spirit Week. Listen for announcements and watch for updates coming soon. And the theme for this year's TEDx event is motivation and inspiration. If you're inspired to participate, please speak to Ms. Florento or Mr. Nino. That's it for today, Jets. Stay tuned for future broadcasts and don't forget to stay determined, intellectual, and successful.